This video explains how to fix your printer when the ink carriage jams and a carriage jam error message displays on the printer's control panel or on your computer. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to power the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams later in this video. Once the printer is powered off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to power on and stop making noise. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, pull the paper tray straight out to extend it. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Push the paper tray back into the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. This icon looks like a small wrench. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, we will clear any jams from the printer. Pull the paper tray straight out to extend it. Remove any loose paper you see. Push the paper tray back into the printer. Press the power button to power off the printer. In some cases, it may not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step we need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Return to the front. Open the access door. Grasp any jammed paper in the cartridge access area with both hands and then pull it up and out to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. If any torn pieces remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path is an important step in preventing future jams. Locate the paper path cover in the back of the printer. Squeeze the handles and lift the cover to remove it. Carefully remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that might tear off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future jams. Lift the plastic duplexer flap to gain access to the rollers. Locate the indented area. Using one hand, push on the indented area of the plastic towards the back of the printer. Using your other hand, lift up on the duplexer flap to expose more of the paper path. Carefully remove any paper you see. Thoroughly search the paper path for remaining pieces of paper. When you've removed all of the paper, lower the plastic duplexer flap. Reattach the paper path cover. To do this, squeeze the handles on the paper path cover inward and then slide the tabs on the cover into the corresponding slots on the printer. Once it is in position, you can lower it all the way into the printer and release the handles. Make sure the cover is securely in place, otherwise the printer will not function correctly. Close the access door. Turn to the back. 
Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically power on, press the power button. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then, pull the paper tray straight out to extend it. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Push the paper tray back into the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be powered on for these steps to work. Open the access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage might try and move into the access area. If it does, allow it to move into that position. Turn to the back. While the printer is still powered on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for paper or other obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Remove any paper that is found. If the paper tears when you remove it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach inside the printer through the access door and then manually move the carriage. Remove any obstructions that are found while moving the carriage. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the left to all the way to the right. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically power on, press the power button. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, improper installation or placement of the ink cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this problem. The first thing to do is power the printer on, so press the power button. Next, open the access door. The carriage might try and move into the access area. If it does, allow it to move into that position. Allow the carriage to stop moving. Then, lift the lid on the black cartridge to release it. Lift the cartridge out to remove it from the slot. Repeat the previous steps to remove the tricolor cartridge. When handling cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink nozzles.
Be careful not to touch the contacts or ink nozzles because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Make sure you reinstall the cartridges in their correct slots. Tricolor on the left and black on the right. Holding the cartridge by its sides with the contacts facing the rear of the printer, slide it directly into the correct open slot. Close the cartridge lid to secure the cartridge firmly in place. Repeat these steps to replace the other cartridge. When both cartridges are in, close the access door. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you're still getting an error message, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. Press the power button to power off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then, plug the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to power the printer back on. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 30 seconds. It is important to wait the full 30 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically power on, press the power button. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. From the printer's control panel, touch the Settings icon. Then touch Tools. On the Tools menu, touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.